Hello guys, today we are starting our chapter 7 coordinate geometry. In that, we will start with the introduction of exercise 7.1, which is the distance of a point from the y-axis is called its x-coordinate or axis y. And the distance of a point from the x-axis is called its y-coordinate or ordinate. Here the main part is the distance formula. For us, suppose we have to find the distance between two points in the coordinate geometry, we use this formula. Means the point, both the points between which we have to find the distance and the x coordinate and y coordinate. x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square and whole in the root. Which is a distance formula which is used to find the distance between two points. Here we will write x1 before x2 or x2 before x1 doesn't matter because by squaring it it becomes positive only. So both are valid. Now starting exercise 7.1 In the equation number 1 we have to find the distance between the two points which we are given and the coordinates x and y coordinates In first we are given 2, 3 and 4, 1 So suppose the, at point A the coordinates are 2, 3 and at point B the coordinates are 4 and 1 We will find the distance between this A and B point using the distance formula as we have discussed in the earlier in introduction section for x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square whole under root which is equal to 2 root 2. Similarly we will do with the number 2 minus 5 7 and minus 1 3. A, point A coordinates are minus 5 and 7 and point B coordinates are minus 1 3. Using the distance formula we get the answer 4 root 2. In number 3 a, B and minus A minus B. At point P, the coordinates are A, B and at point Q, the coordinates are minus A and minus B. Using the distance formula for same, we get the answer 2 under root A square plus B square. In question number 2, we have to find the distance between the points 0, 0 and 36, 15. So we take P as origin and Q as 3615 coordinates. We will find the distance using the distance formula and we get the answer 39. Further, we have asked can you now find the distance between the two towns A and B discussed in section 7.2. In the distance formula section 7.2, the example of two towns A and B is given. So, they have asked whether you can find the distance between them. So yes, we can find the distance between the two towns. A, suppose we take A as origin and B as 36 and 15 coordinates. We get the answer similarly as above 39. In question number 3, we have to check whether the given points are collinear or not. For that we have to prove that the sum of other two sides is not equal to the third side. For that we will find the distance between all the three line points. So AB, BC and AC. Using the distance formula we will find the distance between these three points. And we will prove that the sum of two sides is not equal to the third. The distance between two, two points or two lines is not equal to the third one. So taking the three points as A, B and C. First we will find the distance between A, B which is root 5. Then the distance between B, C point which is under root 2, 1, 2. The, the distance between A, C is under root 2, 6, 5. And the any addition of two sides is not equal to third third side is C. So the points are not collinear here. In question number 4, we have to prove whether the 
given points make a isosceles triangle or not the points are a b and c coordinates are given of each of them first we find the distance between a b using distance formula then b c and then a c here the distance between a b and b c is same equal so therefore it is a isosceles triangle because two sides of a triangle are same and the third is different from both of them in question number 5 we have to prove whether the given coordinate a b c d is a square or not and the coordinates of a b c d are 3 4 6 7 9 4 and 6 1 first we will find the distance between a d b c c d and a d using distance formula and the distance the distance between each four of them is same 3 root 2 For the equation number five, we have to find the distance between AC and BD, the diagonals of ABCD, the quadrilateral. So the diagonals are also equal, six, and four sides are also equal. So the ABCD is a square. It's proven here. In question number six, four points are given, and then coordinates. We have to find out which quadrilateral it makes, and we have to give reasons for the answer we have given. So, at first we will find the distance between the points A, B, B, C, C, D, and A, D using the distance formula, and all four of them, the answer is equal to root two. Then A, C, and B, D find distance. Distance between AC and BD, which can equal four and four. First, we will find the point distance between AB, which is two root two, then BC, which is also two root two, then CD, and then AD. All four of them have given answer two root two, and then diagonals AC and BD, which are we get the answer four. So the given points makes a square because here all four sides AB, BC. CD and AD can equal two root two, and the diagonals of both of them are also equal. So the given points are of the quadrilateral square. Now number two in question six. Similarly, as number one here, we are given four points A, B, C, and D. We have to find that what quadrilateral it makes. So first we will find the distance between point A B, which is two root thirteen, then between B C. Which is root thirty, then CD, which is five root two, and then AD, which is root eighty five. So here, the distance between AB, BC, CD, and AD is not equal to each each of them. So it is a general quadrilateral because AD is not equals to BC, not equals to CD, and not equals to AD. Pause the video to note it down. Number three, question number six. Again, we have four points given A, B, C, and D. We have to find the distance between the A, B, B, C, C, D, and A. D. By using the distance formula, which is equals to Under root x two minus x one whole square plus y two minus y one whole square. So for a b we use the distance formula and we get the answer under root ten. For b c it is under root eighteen. For c d we have calculated under root ten. And for a d under root eighteen. Here alternatively two values are equal. A b is equals to c d and b c is equals to a d. So we have to find the diagonals of it. So diagonals are AC. Similarly, using distance formula, AC is equals to two and BD is equals to under root fifty-two. So the diagonals of both of them are not equal. So the given vertices are of parallelogram. So pause the video to note it down. In question number seven, we have to find the point 
on the x axis which is equal distance from q and r so here we take the point on x axis as p which is x comma 0 because it is given in like the point on x axis if the point is on the x axis then the y coordinate will be 0 so we have to find the only the value of x it is given that it is equal distance from q and r that means pq is equals to pr then pq square is equals to pr square so the distance formula pq square or any two points square which is is equals to x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square we have done used the same formula here also 2 minus x whole square plus minus 5 minus 0 whole square is equals to minus 2 minus x whole square plus 9 minus 0 whole square equating this we get minus 4x plus 29 is equals to 4x plus 85 and at the end we get x is equals to 7 so the given point is 7 comma 0 the required point which is equidistant from both of this q and r is 7 0 In question number eight, we have to find the value of y, where the distance between p and q is given ten units, and the coordinates of p and q are two comma minus c and ten and y. The distance between p q is given ten. So p q is equal to under root ten minus two whole square plus y plus three whole square. Ten. Taking the root on other side, ten square is equal to ten minus two eight whole square plus y plus three whole square. Hundred minus sixty four is equal to y plus three whole square. Thirty six is equal to y plus three whole square. Y plus three is equal to taking the square on other side makes the root plus or minus six. So y is equal to plus six minus three is equal to three, and minus six minus three is equal to minus nine. So the values of y are two possible outcomes, three or minus nine. So please pause the video to note the solution. In question number nine, we are given the point Q zero and one, and we are told that it is equal distance from the point P and R, both of them. So the coordinates of P is five comma minus three, and R is x. Six. Here we have to find the value of x, and after finding the value of x, we have to find the distance between q r and p r, both of them. So for finding the value of x, we will use the distance formula, and it is given that q is equal distance from p and r. So p q is equal to q r. So p q square is equal to q r square. Using the distance formula, x two minus x one whole square plus y two minus y one whole square, both the sides. 0 minus 5 whole square plus 1 plus 3 whole square is equal to x minus 0 whole square plus x minus 1 whole square. Equating this, we get x square is equal to 16. So x is equal to plus or minus 4. So the coordinates of r can be 4 comma 6 or minus 4 comma 6. So now the finding the value of q r and p r for both the values of r. First, we will take r. Coordinates as four and six. Using the distance formula, we will find the value of Q R R Q R, which is under root forty one, and then P R, which is under root eighty two. Then for the value of the coordinates of R as minus four and six, we will find the value of the you know, distance of Q R as under root forty one, and P R is nine root two. Please pause the video to note the solution. In question number ten, we are given the point P, whose coordinates are x and y, and we are given that the it is equidistant from the point Q and R, and the coordinates of Q is three comma six, and R is minus three and four. So P is equal to six from Q and R, so P Q is equal to P R. P Q square is equal to P R square. So using the distance formula, 
3 minus x whole square plus 6 minus y whole square is equal to minus 3 minus x whole square plus 4 minus y whole square. By using the identities and equating them, 9 minus 6x plus x square plus 36 minus 12y plus y square is equal to 9 plus 6x plus x square plus 16 minus 8y plus y square. By cancelling out the common terms from both the sides, at last we get minus 6x plus 36 minus 12y is equal to 6x plus 16 minus 8y. Further by sol solving it, we get 12x plus 4y minus 20 is equal to 0. By taking out 4 as common, we get 3x plus y minus 5 is equal to 0. And this is the relation between x and y, which we were told to find out. So, this was the last sum of the exercise 7.1. Please note, pause the video to note the solution.